everyone. So Kyrie Irving's time with the Brooklyn Nets is coming to an end. Uh, based on reports, Kyrie Irving does not want anything to do with the Brooklyn Nets. Even if Brooklyn offers him a contract extension, the full max that he wants, he's going to reject it. He feels too slighted. Uh, and I don't blame him, right? All they've done is just attack this character, played with his money, just basically thrown him under the bus every way that they possibly can. Kyrie needs to be done. He needs to be out. And I personally think, and it seems based on multiple reports and multiple sources, Kyrie is very likely going to the Lakers. I don't see the Lakers having any issue getting Kyrie. I don't see Kyrie necessarily wanting to go other places. Most of the teams that are rumored to want to trade for Kyrie don't really make sense for Kyrie. And even if they do, don't really make sense for a trade for the Brooklyn Nets. And the Brooklyn Nets have to trade Kyrie. I've seen people say, you know, oh, well, why not? Why doesn't Brooklyn just hold on to him and then just let him go? It's not a Russell Westbrook Lakers situation. The Brooklyn Nets are over the cap, even without Kyrie, because you still have Ben Simmons. You still have Kevin Durant on maxes. You have Joe Harris on a, you know, $20 million contract next season. And you still have guys like Royce O'Neal, Patty Mills, stuff like that, that are on multi-year deals. It's not, they have to trade Kyrie Irving. And so Kyrie Irving to the Lakers very likely is going to be a thing. Whether it's a three-team deal, whether it's a straight-up deal, at some point what is going to happen is the Lakers are going to acquire Kyrie Irving, Russell Westbrook, and very likely the two first-round picks are going somewhere. Whether it's to the Brooklyn Nets, whether it's to X team over here, you know, the Jazz, the Hornets, the Spurs, whatever, whatever team, third team is willing to come in and kind of be a facilitator, which I do believe that some team will because a team like the Spurs or the Hornets or whatever are going to look at it as like, we can move off our vets and get free first round picks in order to do so. Let's do that, right? Like Utah's looking at it as like, we can move off of Mike Conley's contract and several other contracts and also get free first round picks in the draft and the, and the deal. Sure. You know, or a team like Charlotte, we can move off a of Gordon Hayward and Terry Rogier's contract and get a first round pick in the deal. Sure, let's do that, right? So at some point, Kyrie Irving's going to be a Laker and Russell Westbrook plus draft picks are going to go elsewhere. And that in and of itself would be great, right? Lakers probably also take on Joe Harris. That's probably going to be in there at some point. Or if not Joe Harris, some salary type player. Ideally, Seth Curry, but realistically, I think it's going to be Joe Harris because the Brooklyn Nets are going to want to get off of his salary. Although, that's not the end of the world, right? Lakers need shooting, and Joe Harris is a shooter. Not only is Joe Harris a shooter, but he's an expiring contract next season. So, in the offseason, you get another first, and maybe you have some seconds and stuff, and you could go and then maybe make a move in the offseason to go do some other trades, make some other moves. That is definitely a real possibility. But in, in and of itself, if all is said and done, and the Lakers land Kyrie Irving, Joe Harris, and Rui Hachimura, that in and of itself is a great home run style off, or trade deadline, right? I mean, come on, they, you win the trade deadline. <laughs> like, unless some team ends up getting Kevin Durant, who win, who could possibly win the trade deadline over the Lakers? You get a young 6'9", 6'8", 6'9", Power forward, small forward with 7 2 wingspan size. That's just a, a MIDI just a, operator, right? And on top of that, you get a, a dead eye shooter in Joe Harris and you get a superstar in Kyrie Irving. That is a just come on. Give Rob Palinka the, 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 the GM of the year right here, right now. But imagine if they could get another piece. So the Lakers, one of the big things is shooting guard. Right, Because for the next several seasons, you have Kyrie at the point guard, you have Rui Hachimura at the three, LeBron James at the four, Anthony Davis at the five. That's basically your core four guys. You need the shooting guard position. Now, you could take like Patrick Beverly and go get like maybe a Josh Richardson. That's not bad. You know, uh, Kyrie Irving, Josh Richardson, Rui Hachimura, uh, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis. Cool. You got your starting five. Now you're just, you know, trying to get some pieces in the offseason uh, through your vet minimums, your taxpayer mid-level, and your biannual, right? You only need like three or four guys that are any good because you only need, you're only going to run eight, nine guys anyway, and especially come the playoff time, you're only running probably seven or eight guys come playoffs, right? So regardless, you, you don't need much. But one other player that the Lakers have been interested in acquiring 
they still could theoretically get. And based on a report by The Athletic that was, it was just kind of a throw in, is that the Lakers don't want to give up their second round picks because they are have another deal potentially lined up or they're in the process of having that deal lined up. And so if that's the case, my guess is if they know they're getting Kyrie Irving and they're and they're trying to preserve at least a first or multiple all, all their seconds, right? Then it's got to be somebody impactful and it's got to be somebody that makes sense next to Kyrie, LeBron James, Rui Hachimura and Anthony Davis where Gary Trent Jr. comes in. Now, Gary Trent Jr., based on reports, Gary Trent Jr. can be had for a protected first or multiple good second-round picks. Now, the Lakers still have their second-round pick, and they still have, like, three others they can trade besides this year. So, they could real. I mean, you could give up four second-round picks for Gary Trent Jr. if need be. And if you're the Lakers, why not? No-brainer. If you if the Lakers land Kyrie Irving, Gary Trent Jr., Rui Hachimura, and Joe Harris on this trade deadline, I, I think every Laker fan owes Rob Polinka a public apology. I mean, seriously. Like that would just be an absolute grand slam. And I don't want us to get our hopes up too much. Don't get too carried away. Don't get too crazy because this isn't. That doesn't mean that this is guaranteed to happen, and it also doesn't necessarily mean that it is Gary Trent. But we know that Gary Trent has been linked to the Lakers. We know that Gary Trent would fit a need that the Lakers absolutely would have in shooting guard. He is a young piece for now and the future. He's a three and D style guy that would be perfect. Can create his own shot, score on all three levels, just like Kyrie. Uh, good luck trying to stop the Lakers if this happens. But Gary Trent Jr., very likely, is that piece that the Lakers are, are lining up to get. And if they can get that, perfect. It could still be like Josh Richardson or something like that. That could be the other piece. So, again, don't get super hyped up and go, oh, you know, we're getting Kyrie and Gary Trent. Like, no way. This is just based on, like, putting pieces together that may or may not be there, right? Take this at, at your own risk, so to speak. But it's not out of the realm of possibility. The Lakers are probably going to get a very good deal for Kyrie Irving because there's not really much out there and not many options out there. And the Lakers would still have enough to go get a guy like Gary Trent Jr. And to kind of further validate this, the Lakers had a deal lined up for Gary Trent Jr. in the past and it fell through because it was a three-team deal. This could just be another straight-up trade. So you could do Kyrie or Kyrie Joe Harris for Russell Westbrook. Uh, whether Russ is going to, you know, the 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 Nets or he's going to whoever the Spurs, the Hornets, the whoever, right? But the Lakers basically would land Joe Harris and Kyrie Irving probably give up both first. Well, then they could take Patrick Beverly, Lonnie Walker and three or four seconds and go get Gary Trent Jr., right? I mean, the Lakers were able to get Rui Hachimura for three seconds. Maybe they could get Gary Trent Jr. for three or four. You know, at, at that point, whatever it takes, whatever you have to give up, you go get Gary Trent Jr., right? Because you, if you can't win a championship with Kyrie Irving, Gary Trent Jr., Rui Hachimura, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis, I don't know what to tell you. Like, who cares what your bench is? You have the best starting five in the league, hands down. Hands down. You got a young 3 and D shooting guard that was like third, second or third in the league last year in 30-point games, who we've seen that can just light it up, score on all three levels. You have Kyrie Irving. Enough said there. You have Rui Hachimura, a 6'8", 7'2", wingspan, mid-range, just dominant force, Size, strength, all of it. Got Anthony Davis, who we've seen can play like the best player on the planet. Turns you from a, a bottom five defense to a top 15 defense. And LeBron James, still playing like LeBron James and doing LeBron James things. I mean, and you'd still have... I mean, think about this. Our star, and I, I really want you to think about this. Our starting five would be Kyrie Irving, Gary Trent Jr., 
Rui Hachimura, LeBron James, Anthony Davis. Our bench five would be Dennis Schroeder, Austin Reeves, Troy Brown Jr., or Joe Harris, whatever, right? Winning Gabriel, Thomas Bryant. You're one of the deepest, if not the deepest teams in the league. You are have the best, if not one of the best, starting fives in the league. You have three superstars. You go get Kyrie Irving and Gary Trent Jr. Whatever it takes, you make that happen. If you have to give up all of your seconds and all of your firsts to, to where the end result is these two, you absolutely do that. Because even after LeBron leaves, even after LeBron leaves, you still have Kyrie Irving, Gary Trent Jr., Anthony Davis, and Rui Hachimura. What more could you ask for? Like, that is, I mean, you want to talk about being set up post-LeBron. That's about as good of a setup post-LeBron as it gets. I mean, you are an absolute juggernaut at that point. Juggernaut at that point. Like, I, I mean, you're talking, hands down, the best team in the league. I, I, I really believe that they would win multiple championships. Like, how do you not win at least two championships with that roster? You probably win this year, and you probably win next year, at the very least. And then after that, see how LeBron looks. You know, AD, can he stay healthy? I mean, there of course, there are always factors, right? You know, knock on wood, AD goes down, LeBron or Kyrie or whatever. You know, you just get a bunch of injuries. Then obviously, yes, right? We saw it with Golden State, right? Where like Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, everybody just gets hurt. Steph gets hurt, Draymond. Like, we we saw that where like an entire team can get decimated, especially when you're doing multiple runs. But like, you're probably getting LeBron James number five and six. This is probably what you're going to do. You're probably breaking the tie between you and the Boston Celtics. And you're set. I mean, you are set. Forget the picks at that point, right? If you can land Gary Trent Jr. and Kyrie Irving, what more do you need? Hand hand Rob Palinka the trophy now for GM of the year. I don't ever want to hear another bad thing about Rob Palinka if that happens. What we do know, again, I don't know for sure if it's Gary Trent. But what we do know is that Rob Palinka supposedly is working on or has another deal lined up beyond Kyrie Irving. It's not the Kyrie Irving trade. It's something else. So if that's the case, there's only so many things it could be. Because Russell Westbrook is going to go for Kyrie Irving, and they're probably going to have to give up both first for Kyrie Irving. And they want to keep their seconds is what it was. So if that's the case, then it can only be it's, Gotta be uh, Josh Richardson or Gary Trent. I mean, even Josh Richardson is still good, right? Like, if Josh Richardson is your your starting shooting guard for the next several seasons with Kyrie, LeBron, AD, and Rui, that's still very good. But if it's Gary Trent, talk about championships. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I have a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think that this can happen? Do you want it to happen? Do you think, yes, Kyrie Irving, Gary Trent, home run, do that. Let's make it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, you know, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. Let me know down in the comments below.